Hi, I'm Susan. I'm from World Peaceful. And I felt inspired to read a poem that I wrote. Um, it was inspired by a conversation I had with someone who informed me of child abuse in a ritual sense. The person didn't know anyone, any names, but was aware of a profession that it was happening in. I was very disturbed when I heard it. And this is the poem I wrote in response to how I felt. It's called A New Era of Peace and Happiness for Little Children. How do I write this song line? How do I find the rhythm of child abuse? For I am being told revelations. I just have to stop and think. I have to start and feel. To sit silently as I contemplate the children. How to protect them from those who want to use innocence in service of grotesque need. For those men are unrecognisable as they hide behind pillars of power. For this is the hour for a global reset. Mothers of the world, keep the inner child close. Be present. For the children need your attention. Do not place them in childcare. For you must break the nexus of work to survive. Communities must come together, covered by the shroud. For the good, the holy and the beautiful keeps their sensitive hearts safe. Too many are left alone or vulnerable to the wolf who comes in sheep's, sheep's clothing. I'm told he is as cold as ice. He is the ringmaster who thinks the power is the one ring. Secret societies of ritualistic degrees have no freedom. Sauron thinks he knows absolute power. Soroman feels for the power of geometric circle, not the enclosed ring. He realises the eye is always watching as it falls into shadow. For surveillance is the eye that never sleeps. For it knows no peacekeeping. It knows no loving kindness. Only remote views in search of targets. Children must find their power and spiritual project protection. Archangel wings silently enfold as they become bold. For they must find their voice is no longer silenced by fear. As inquiries out those preying on children in robes and hoods. For they strive for the highest degrees, believing power is at the top of the pyramid. Yet the capstone is the ancient beacon housing universal knowledge. The dragon serpent recoils as the climate changes. Chamber of secrets, secret handshakes. For I have seen the nod and the wink. Or is it skull and bones, empty of substance? As a brotherhood unites in crimes against humanity, striding around like Egyptian pharaohs, as an inflated image that is larger than life, abusing trust, abusing position, abusing privilege, paying off witnesses, paying off felons, for the fee lions, sphinx, was not serious, to realise the capstone is off, the secret is out. To discover denial is not a river in Egypt. For the real power honours truth, protects children from harm, are not charmed by sharp suits and power elites. As the matrix will be unplugged, before it formulates another misadventure. As the world awaits a renewable earth charter, for this is not only a new story, but a never ending story. As we find power in virtue, 
is of great value. We find innocence in honesty of great valour. We discover love in every breath we take, re-emerging the power of presence as the present humanity is giving to itself, as the abuse is coming to an end. Power and control of the anchors that have sunk the ship, as the Titanic was never unsinkable. Industrialists are indelible, and the rights of children inalienable. As many awaken from wisdom dream keepers, as the true peacemakers who will not make the same mistakes, for they are learning from an earth school grounded in hieroglyphics on the pretext that is the power of giving Oneness is returning to itself, an Oribus of infinity spiralling out to eternity returning. For the one heart, the one, the one mind is the one life laughing that requires no ring, no master, as all masters awaken to self. And this is a river that flows one way, streaming to the sea. As each droplet returns to the ocean of universal love that waves all home to a new golden ratio that rules, a Fibonacci spiral, expanding space just in time. So to the little children, know that you will inherit the earth. For to be like the little child is to understand that the camel can be threaded through the eye of a needle. For this is not all seeing, but all feeling, as we are the thread in a great tapestry, where each colour tells a story that offers contrasts. The silk thread is the glow worm that enlightens each thread with a renewable purpose of recalibrating the earth grids for happy kids at peace with who they are smiling buddhas as the shroud is the imprint a blueprint of who they will become for do not suffer little children Always the rainbow leads you to the potter of gold. And this is the alchemy of magical transformation that shape changes. Not housed in baseless words and actions. As the greed for money is the root of all evil, a mirror image of evil is to live. As those dark are dying to live, I see the words above pyramidal shape shifters. Annuit, coopetus, which means favour our undertakings, will be dissolved as the salt in the wound is usury. For novus ordo seclorum is to long for a new era of peace and happiness. Magnus ab integro, seclorum, nascita, ordo, as I keep vigil for Virgil. And it is said, now the last age by Kume Sibyl Sung has come and gone, and the majestic role of circling centuries begins anew. Justice returns returns old Saturn's reign with a new breed of men sent down from heaven, a new breed of women sent down from heaven. Only do thou, at the child's birth in whom the iron shall cease, a digital bypass, as the golden age 
arise. Under the guidance what so tracks remain of our wickedness once done away shall free the earth from never ceasing fear. He and she will receive the life of God's and see heroes with God's commingling, and himself and herself be seen of them, and with his father's and mother's worth reign o'er a world of peace. So that's the poem, and I've, I've obviously added some Latin, which has to do with the pyramid. Looked it up on the internet what it meant. It does have a masculine language which I've just added the feminine to because that has to stop. Every human is equal. And it's the imbalance that causes these abuses to happen. As a world peace clown, I was inspired by children and the Real Hope program that I wrote was to bring peace to children. It's values based, that's why I talk about great virtue, is of great value. When we look through the prism of virtues, we see the world as it is. When we come at that from distortions and desires for power, that is when children are very vulnerable. You know, that obviously this issue is to do with child abuse and ritual um, sort of meetings where men are coming together and abusing children. Of course, they abuse women as well. They abuse the vulnerable. Why do they do it? There's definitely, obviously, distortion in the way that they see. They gain a sense of power over. And it's a very selfish pursuit of one's own interests. And that is the very nature of power and control. That is why there is a rising voice for equality, liberty, fraternity, and peace, which is the countervailing pendulum, if you like, swinging back. When I think of children being in these situations, it's, it's very frightening. I know how beautiful children are, having been a peace clown and clowned with them. I see them as equal and they have very much inspired me when I was teaching peace to children. They came up with enormous enthusiasm, fun, innocence and wisdom. I was amazed at things that they said. I really see them as equals because when I play, it's in innocence that I play. And my work was to give them a gift so that they would be more secure, feel more self-esteem. I teach as a clown because the children will feel loved in the classroom. And I believe every child needs love in order to develop who they are. So obviously in the poem that I've just expressed, this is the opposite of love. And I really grappled with trying to understand how anyone could hurt a child. I tried to understand that dark energy of those people consumed by power, who believe that they gain more power through this type of dominance. They don't. They actually lose themselves. And the innocence of themselves is completely 
destroyed through these acts. And the child takes on some of that darkness as they suffer terrible pain. So as a peace clown, it is my desire for this to stop completely on this planet and that's why I work for peace is because that is what will enable the world to flourish in the future is by raising healthy and happy children in loving families within societies that respect children and adults life until we can reach for something higher until we can deal with our own issues and heal you know we render ourselves powerless until we find that virtue within ourselves and certainly my work in real hope was to provide that type of teaching in which to integrate values and I believe that is like the shroud that protects children. In my work I encourage kids to critically think. I had them questioning everything. So not to believe me on what I say but what do they think and I used to write up what their words were. Real hope is an acronym for responsibility, empathy, awareness, love, honesty, oneness, peace, enjoyment and service. This is not only grouping values but it's actually a model. So when you reflect responsibility, empathy, awareness and love, this is authenticity, this is being real. When you reflect honesty, oneness, peace, enjoyment and service or even hope with service, that's how you see a future. When these values are all integrated, service is natural. It's not servitude, it's serving because you're already fulfilled, you have much to give. Why am I a jester? Because the fool steps off the cliff in trust and innocence, allowing life to determine the journey. Children will be protected through values. They won't attract into their lives these negative experiences and the virtues and values will give them the strength to move from these situations of abuse. In my program, I also taught anti-bullying. So I role modeled with children how to resolve conflict, what to do if someone was bullying them and the fact that the bully actually gets attracted to the fear and the vulnerability. So I taught them about how they move, their body language, how they communicate. And I taught them, you know, Activities based on Jane Elliott's work, which is anti-discrimination work. She divided the class by eye colour. I divided the children by eye colour. And I just said only blue-eyed children can, you know, play this game with the clown. The clown's got blue eyes. And I did that for them to understand the differences, you know, how we treat each other on the basis of discriminations, the inside group, the outside group. And the children got to experience what it was like to be excluded or included. And then the children were encouraged to think of ways in which they can include other people. This is inclusivity. This is building community. This is saying that everybody belongs. The children really felt it. And that's why it's experiential education that I was teaching. My Real Hope program is part of the work that would usher in peace and happiness for little children. That's why I wrote it. So if you want to see it, just go to www.worldpeacefulfull.com, look at school programs, go to peace education, and you'll see real hope. 
It's the gift I've given to the world because clowns in their essence are truly demonstrating the innocence of the child. We truly see through eyes of love. Unfortunately, there are films out there that have depicted clowns not in the true spirit of what they are. They're very honourable and very beautiful and seek to play and bring joy and happiness to other people. That was the purpose of the clown, was peace and happiness. That's why I became inspired to be a clown and in particular a jester. So with that, I'll leave you in peace and happiness. <laughs> I've got Isis in the background there, see? <laughs> Egyptian female goddess spreading her wings. She, for me, reflects the power of the rising feminine, which is the softness and gentleness in humanity. This is placing our wings around everybody so that they feel they belong. That's my wish <laughs> for what that's worth. <laughs> anyway, lots of love and lots of peace. Bye.